the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, your boy Joe Burrow looked like he is going to be back. Uh, everything seems to be good there. Their win total sits at 6.5. To go under, even money. You want to go over, though, it's going to cost you minus 130. To win the division, plus 1,600. To win the AFC, plus 6,600. To make the playoffs, plus 375. To not make the playoffs is minus 550. So they, they the sports books, by the way, odds brought to you by betus.com, where the game begins, link in the description, promo code, all that good stuff. So, they are projected favorites in two games out of 17. That is definitely not good. And their schedule, even with as bad as they were last season, it got even more difficult. They have the fourth most difficult projected schedule in the league this year. That's based on win totals and whatnot. Five straight unders for their win totals. And they have gone 3, 16, and 1 in one-score games since 2018. Now, the good news, Burrow is coming back along with eight other uh, players, five starters that are returning from IR. They got destroyed, just decimated by the injury bug last year. If Jamar Chase is as advertised, the wide receiver room could be one of the best in the NFL. You got him along with Higgins and Boyd. That is a powerful trio. That's some good guys right there. Uh, people are focused on Burrow's injury, but uh, but Jonah Williams, I think, is just as important, if not more so. That's what they were banking on because they did not upgrade that offensive line. They're banking on Williams to come back and, and handle the blind side. So they uh, they ranked low in luck categories last year, so you would hope there'd be a little more regression to the mean. As far as turnovers go, they were bottom seven in EPA gained on defense. They were top five in EPA lost on offense. So when it came to turnovers, they did nothing with them, and when they turned them over, the other team almost always scored. Almost always. They Outside of hoping for like injury recovery, you know, all that good stuff, they brought in Riley Reef right tackle. They Like I said, they didn't really upgrade that offensive line. I don't know what to make of it. Zach Taylor could be one of the worst head coaches in the NFL. 6-25-1 overall. He is he himself is 2-13-1 in one-score games. That's where you figure out the good coaches from the bad, the ones that can win the close ball games, because that's what the NFL is. I, I don't feel great about this team. I do like the fact that Burrow's coming back. I think that they can be explosive. A lot of volatility with this team. I am going to go with the under six and a half here. I've actually got them winning five ball games this year. I could I could see them going past this again. Not a bet that I like. I don't like the totals being that low, but you know I'm I'm gonna go under. So I've I've got them at five and twelve. So I'm I'm with you on the under. I've got them six and eleven. We have to remember that not everybody is superhuman. And just because, you know, Adrian Peterson once came back from an ACL injury in six months, like that's new, the new standard, you know, it's usually a year. So Joe, A, didn't just tear his ACL. He tore other ligaments. He tore lots of cartilage. It was a major, major injury. The fact that he is back already, I think, is surprising to me. All right? I'm okay with him being cautious. I'm okay with him being skittish, and I'm okay with him just not being all there with 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 this injury and the way way things are right now. All right, I'm totally okay with that as being a huge Burrow fan. His thought process should be three years from now, not today. Okay, that's that's it. This team is not ready to win. This defense is really bad. The offensive line is below average bad. They've got really good skill players. They've got really good receivers, and they've got a really good running back, and they've got a really good quarterback when he's healthy. We'll we'll see. Can Zach Taylor do anything with that? Zach Taylor is the 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 thing that scares me the most about this team. It's not Burrow's health. I do think by the you know middle of the year, Burrow will be fine. If he doesn't get hurt again, he's going to be okay, and he'll be back to hundred percent health, and he'll be used to playing with the knee and all this stuff, and there'll be no issues. My my fear is is this is not an organization that fires coaches very quickly at all. They've let their team get real bad in the past before firing them. Will they, if they finish with five or six losses this year, pull the trigger on saying, Zach, you're out. Sorry. We shouldn't have hired somebody who is just friends with Sean McVay. We made a mistake. Because that's not their history. That's a very interesting Thought to look at. It really bothers me, I, by the way. 
I mean, it really, really bothers me. I could understand not firing him last season, right? Because you did I, I, get decimated with injuries and all that. You just drafted the number one quarterback. You like you feel like you're headed in the right direction. But when you look at at two thirteen and one in one score games, and you look at the fact that we don't really know what this guy does well, and he hasn't shown it in two seasons. Nobody has really developed yet. I I do get curious. Now, far be it from from us to, or far be it for us to call for somebody's head. No, because obviously I think Zach Taylor is way smarter than I am when it comes to football. But that's not the, the standard, job. Gary. But that is not you, the standard. Correct. I, mean? I need somebody to be smarter than Kyle Shanahan. Okay. If I don't think there is anybody smarter than him. Nope. Coach nope. of football. That's not named Bill Belichick. I need you to be smarter than Sean McVay. All right. I need you to be sp- smarter than Sean Payton or Andy Reid. Can you be smarter than those guys? Because I don't. I don't think you are. I don't think you're smarter than John Harbaugh. I don't think you're smarter than Kevin Stefanski. Okay. Ta- or Mike, Mike Tomlin, Tomlin, for that matter. I don't. I don't think you're smarter. Than, he's smarter than those guys. So being smarter than you and me does nothing for him. Exactly. Because we're not in the room competing with him. Those guys are. It's it's going to be interesting to see what they do. How how many how bad would this have to get for him to be fired? Do you think? I, I don't know the answer. I think six and eleven, which what I have them at, is bad enough to fire him. I do. I do believe that. I could I could get down with that. So, if, if they deal but, with a bunch of injuries you know, again, is that an excuse? I, I don't think so. I don't I don't like the excuse of injuries when. Some of this is all biases in the sense that I didn't think he was a good hire to begin with. That's true. Now, if they roll off and they finish out eight and nine, holy shit. I think that's an unbelievable year, and and I think that's a year to grow on, and, and I'm wrong about Zach Taylor. And that's fine. I'm always willing to admit that. But right now, I, I didn't see it the day he got hired, and some of that's not the Bengals' fault, okay? Some of that's the sense that everybody who knew Sean McVay was getting jobs – at the same time, and he was the last of them to get the job. And I thought, well, this is just getting ridiculous now. Like, yes. now we're literally just hiring Sean McVay's friends, hoping that they know something about football like he does, okay? So he already starts off in a six-foot hole with me. Yeah, yeah, I, I could, I could see the that. front office that you just can't trust. Uh, yeah, no, it, you're 100% right. I mean, it was the same thing with uh, with Marvin, so. Yeah. It, it, we, it looks like we're running through the same thing again. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.